Good evening. Government buildings in Sydney have been identified as potential targets in what police say are handwritten notes seized during counter-terror raids. Two men from Western Sydney faced court today, but investigators say there is nothing to suggest the plot was imminent. 20-year-old Suleiman Khalid is well known for his extremist views and support of Syria's Islamic State, even appearing on national TV to defend his cause. You cannot judge their situation there whilst you're sitting here. You can't say anything, uh, you know, they're killing this, they're killing... You're sitting but, here... Sorry, but we've got family. Family. Can you judge that? Sorry, we've got yeah, I'm, family. I'm as well. That night, he stormed off set. Last night, he couldn't walk away. Anti-terror police raiding his Regent's Park home, charging him over alleged handwritten notes about a terrorist act. He was charged in relation to having a document that was designed to clearly facilitate an attack. Police sources say he was planning to target a federal police building and engage in guerrilla warfare in the Blue Mountains. I am confident that we've disrupted the activity that, um, that they were planning. From his lawyer... My client's been uh, charged with a very serious offence, but I want to remind you that the authorities have got it wrong in the past, many times. Friends and family were in court. Khalid was refused bail. They refused to comment. Just talk us through what you've been able to learn so far. No comment, nothing. That is nothing. All that we ask is that the court process be respected and for this matter to be determined on the evidence and not by politicians and the media. A second man was also arrested in Marsfield for breaching a terror-related control order. Why do you think police were here? Ah, you guys are boring. The 21-year-old made two phone calls, one from a public phone, a breach of the orders against him. No comment. None at all? None at all. He too denied bail. Until last week, only two people had ever been placed on control orders, one-time terror suspects David Hicks and Jihad Jack Thomas. Two more were added last Thursday, including the Marsfield man in court today. The government's latest terror warning says an attack is likely, but offers no details on where or when. It makes people anxious. I, so I don't think the Prime Minister did it for his own popular standing. It's, it's not a popular move. I think he did it because he had to do it. People should not be afraid at all. This should not disrupt our way of life in any measure at all. Well, Chris Reason is at Dawes Point tonight. And Chris, are these terror arrests expected to impact on Christmas and New Year's Eve crowds? Well, Mel, good evening. Experts tell Seven News that despite the government and police pleading with people to carry on their lives as normal, there's little doubt that these latest terror threats will have an impact, will cause public anxiety and may cause some people to be scared away from public events, particularly what they have planned here in Harbourside, Sydney, for New Year's Eve. The police, though, insist they are doing absolutely everything they can to detect and deter any potential terrorist event. Mel? All right, Chris Reason, thank you.